Family numbers. Let me remind you why you're here in case you've forgotten how dire our current predicament is. April was our worst month in history. Lead generation plummeted despite an increase in marketing spend. Our return on investment trailed the industry average by 30 basis points. Can anyone here tell me how we let our conversion rate sag by 18%? All right, guys, we're a team here, yeah? And that means when we lose, we lose together. But when we win, and we always win, we win together. Now, I know it's been a long winter and some of you are tired, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The Met Gala is just three days away, three, Fucking days! I ask, will you cross the Sahara Desert with me and together drown in Don Perignon on the other side? The Met Gala. It's the fucking Mecca of all galas. The Met Gala, New York City's most prominent and exclusive event of the year. Vogue magazine personally invited Whitney. Us, we're just along for the ride. The Kardashians, Steve Bannon, Ariana fucking Grande, Bill fucking Gates. They're gonna be there, and so are we. The Met Gala, I just hope I don't screw everything up. I mean, this is my first time there, and Rihanna's gonna be there. She changed four times last year. Lady Gaga, or Gaga, whatever it is. 33,000 costumes and accessories, 600 guests at $30,000 a seat. That's the biggest social event of the year, the Met Gala. I just don't know. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to follow Whitney's lead. It's gonna be awesome. The Met Gala. Last year, I had a threesome with Cardi B and Anna Wintour inside the Temple of Dender. Caught more dumb than the church itself. These idiots think this is a fraternity party. It's a fashion show at the Met. Last year, they got so drunk they couldn't even get past the red carpet. Oh, yeah. I've seen you go through worse. Maybe back in 08. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. You were young and in high school. Actually, I was talking about the market. Oh. Oh, well, you'll get through it. You always do. Hi, Madeline. Alec Johnson here, Washell Incorporated. Congratulations on that Vogue Italia cover. How about a celebratory dinner for two tonight? If my calculations are correct, Juliana, and believe me, they always are, Whitney has spent $25,338.52, uh, I'm sorry, 58 cents, on your Soul Cycle and Pilates classes last year alone. Wouldn't you agree that warrants him a rekindling? Sorry, Krista, I'm getting another call. Can you hold on one second? You have to understand, Emily, you're a full standard deviation below witness average. <laughs> yeah. But you still be delighted to take it to Met Gala anyway. What do you say? You have a boyfriend now, Barbara? Well, how tall is he? Hello? Yep. Emily? Listen, Georgia, we're talking about the Met Gala here. You can't go wrong. Uh, listen, Georgia. I mean, Ashley. We're talking about the Met Gala here. Look! Sorry, Josephine. I'm gonna have to call you back. What are you doing? Watering the plant. 
Do you get paid to water plants or to book fucking dates? Oh! Get the fuck out of my way. Whitney's stock hadn't been this low in a decade now, Brittany. Now is the time to buy. What do you mean it's not up to your standards? This is Washelle we're talking about. Two Elton John tickets. I'll throw in two Elton John tickets to Carnegie Hall. No. What do you mean, no? Hey, yeah, God damn it! You're fucking intern! How do you do it, You know, I'm kidding. What? Wait, are you Yeah. No, Margaret, you should know that Whitney has a net promoter score of 95%. Wow. That's right, that's 17% higher than any other bachelor in his tax bracket. <laughs> really? No, that, that's great. <laughs> can, can you hold for one moment? Uh, Margaret, you still there? Margaret? So, uh, shall we say dinner with Whitney at 9 p.m.? I mean, you surely don't want to waste a beautiful new blow dry sitting home alone. Margaret? 9 p.m. where? Uh, how about, oh, the, the, the greatest, the greatest place in town. Like, uh, you're gonna love this place. Um, how about, oh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love it. Casa Lever. Casa Lever? Margaret? I mean... Okay, yeah. Have Whitney send an Uber to 19 Spring at 8.30. Fantastic! We'll, we'll see you then. Okay, ciao. No! Something's on your mind. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. Come on, Jenny. What's up? Well, I've been doing some thinking and... Thinking about what? Well, I... Hey, pal. Your driver's downstairs. Be right there. You were saying? Yeah, uh, d you... I was saying you probably shouldn't commit to pre-ordering a steak for two. In case Margaret's a vegan. Yeah. Yeah, in case you want to make an early exit, cut things off after crudo. Oh, crudo. Worst. Of course. Smart thinking. Thanks, Jenny. Hey, Whitney. Yes? Have fun tonight. My Uber driver would not shut up. He was a mega creep. He wanted to take selfies with me. I gave a homeless man $5 the other day. He was so playful. I had a shoot in Ravello for a poochie camp. I never eat foie gras. This bikini Let's is gonna look shop Wago. Surf knows. Lodge? Really? So, that I can next with Sean Mendes. This is right. And he will like, which not really do that. Like. Ugh, I completely Let's forgot shop about this salon. Let's, Let's go shop. This octopus looks like a creep. He was a mega creep. He wanted to take Can you send the food back? Baby? Rebrand? What rebrand? It's become clear after analyzing your Bumble and Raya activities that you've been actively looking to settle down. And for you to fucking pull this on the day of the fucking Met Gala? Yeah. These accusations are completely untrue. George has received numerous reports from the field of you turning down sex on the first date. Is that true? Wait. There's more. 
you even discuss such sordid topics as animal rights and fucking Anderson Cooper? What? Word on the street is you got the number of a Fordham grad student and took him to a poetry reading. You see, this is exactly what your fucking rebranding is doing to all of us. Christopher, wipe your fucking tears. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you guys my friends or my parents? We're your friends, bro. That's why we're doing this. Do you even have an idea what will happen to you if you get a girlfriend? I never said anything about a girlfriend. No. You didn't have to. And neither did Brad. Don't bring her up, Brad. He needs to hear this. About a year ago, Brad said he, um, wants a real woman. Do you have any fucking idea where he is now? Tribeca? Westport. With fucking triplets? A mortgage and a goddamn fucking golden retriever. I am not gonna sit by and watch you make that same fucking mistake. Can you keep that picture on? Always. We had a discussion last night, Whitney. We're ready to leave you should you not course correct. All of you? Yes, all of us. All of us except for Jennifer. Guys, this is me we're talking about. It's your Whitney. Come on, the same Whitney from prep school and college. And don't you sometimes think we're acting just a little foolishly? What I, what I mean is, I mean, <laughs> coffee dates are foolish and ought to be removed from our playbook entirely going forward. Christopher is absolutely right. Getting a chick back to your place before 10 a.m. these days is nearly impossible. Wouldn't you all agree? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What was that back there? Elaborate, please. Don't play stupid. I know you better than that. Guess you didn't like my coffee date suggestion. You always do this. Why don't you just tell them how you feel? I didn't know that you knew. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. You can't keep living this lie. What choice do I have? Tell them how you feel! And lose my best friends? No thanks. If they're really your best friends, they'll understand. <laughs> Easy for you to say. What's that supposed to mean? You don't know what it's like for people to only love you for your beauty and virility. Beauty and virility? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I cannot believe you just said that. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> Good to know you think my problems are a fucking joke. You call that a problem? Yeah. I didn't think you'd understand. So long as I stay relevant, the meals are paid for and we hit the Hamptons every weekend, everyone's happy. You're just like everyone else. Don't you dare loop me in with those moochers and the bimbo whores that you Maybe date. you could learn a little something from them. I mean, you've been single for what, three years now? Improve your own non-existent dating life before you attack mine. At least people like me for who I am and not because of the inheritance my daddy left me. Get, get out. I shouldn't have said that. Just leave. You know, Whitney, you might not realize it, but I'm the only one around here on your team. Whoa. 
little man. What'd she say to her? Did she leave? Backed up her whole desk and everything. Whole nine yards. Hey. Ben. Cheer up. You still got the boys. <laughs> right. George. That fucking genius. He got us the whole Russian ballet troupe for our pregame. We're gonna go to Bilbo K, pop some bottles, do some fucking lines! Sounds great. I'll meet you guys there. Okay. Sure. 